Well, welcome to part two. We are then in the big hall, then at NEC. So um, we're going to do a good walk around again. We'll have a look around this hall. Because the plan was we're just going to do one program, but it's actually so It's quite big. a nice show. It is. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. So we're going to walk around to this place because the, where we went in part one, that was mainly the cars for sale and yes. an auto jumbo part. Uh, so um, this is the show cars really and they're doing loads of repairs as well. Lots to see. Simon, they got some interesting stuff in here. We've been looking around earlier with these I ramps. I do like these ramps. I do like these ramps. They're very handy, especially if you don't have a lot of headroom, isn't it? And these have got wheels on so you can move them and stack them. Yeah, because they're so small one. one. I like that one. I like that small one. It's about 1600 quid to buy one, as you've seen I think in there. That was 1600, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you think about it. piece of kit, though. That's this is lowered, like, isn't it? That's lowered, and that's like an. Uh, is it the X copper car? I, I would have thought so. I think so, that's yes. what it is, isn't it? Yes. That's why they probably got the stars on a corner in there. Yeah. Ah. And we have some sort of searchlight on the other side. It's gorgeous, isn't it, mate? Look, it looks you see? very comfy. But that's that's what we were talking about with these steel oh, wheels. The they center. got the center cup. Yes. So you got the big steels with the center cup. What you reckon, guys? Display on it. Drop us down a comment if you like it or not, because we were just talking about earlier with these center cups, bond bugs. Look at them. They're gorgeous, isn't it, mate? Would you? Scared to drive on with this? Uh, I wouldn't want to tip one over. If you've never seen one, if you're not coming from the UK, from coming from any other country, that's what they look like inside. I bet yes. they're very light. I bet. I don't. I don't know what they like to drive. But you see, guys, it's so many, so many different things. So it's like you got the Morgan right next to Porsche 944 and a Reliant Scimitar. Which is they fixing right now? <laughs> the Reliant Scimitar has the uh, Ford V6 in it. What the Cologne engine? Yes. Yep. So the boys is fixing it right now. Yes, there is the Cologne engine in there. <laughs> so that's part of the restoration show, isn't it? Looks like they're starting it now. I'm not, not sure what they're on now. What are you guys actually doing to it today? We swapped the engine. What? Engine change. Engine change? Yeah. Right. Hope, hope, that's the plan anyway, hopefully over the weekend. <laughs> Is it? Yes. So you're changing the engine this weekend? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And so, what's the plan? Uh, you get it running by today or by end of the weekend? If we've got back in by the end of the weekend, it'll be good. If it's running, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> good luck with it, buddy. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you. They are super rare old in the school, UK, isn't really it? old school. They're very rare in the UK. Do you have many back I, in your youth? I can't, re I can't remember seeing them. Very classic. Has anybody, our viewers, seen any of it or owned one? That's an old T-Reg. What's old T-Reg? T. 70, late 70s? Late 70s? 79. And if you guys see it, uh, Simon, it's already developed a problem in here. He got this tangly bit in his back now. We've been down in the auto jumble and uh, well, we Simon can't is... But stop buying parts. If we had two million pounds, we already spent it. <laughs> that is cool inside. I love, I love that dashboard. It's crazy cool looking, isn't it? All those round dials. Look at that. Absolutely. That looks like the Audi in the late Audis. They got similar pillarless again. I know you. You quite like this pillarless. I do. Stuff. I do. It's a gorgeous looking car. Yours for ten thousand. I've never driven an old classic, a very, very old vintage either. Neither I. What was the oldest car you ever driven? Um, 
I probably think the Jaguar S-Type, which was mid-60s. Mid-60s. All right. What's this? This is a Reliant, early Reliant yes. Robin. Is it? Reliant, yeah. It must be a very early one. I've never seen one of these. This is the first one I've ever seen that shape. Yeah, I haven't seen one. Jensen Interceptor, absolutely but, beautiful. Yeah, this is. This is the color. That's what we talked about. These cars had colors, isn't it? What you reckon? Beautiful classic. It's what you reckon, guys? Seven this is, engine. What you reckon, guys? This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that engine. You don't have much room to work in there, is it, bud? I think there was 7.3, I think. The color is just outstanding. What are we seeing here, buddy? Uh, you're building a full race car at the moment? It's a road race, basically. Road track car, basically. Right. Yeah, it's a chap just sitting down here, his car. It's been fully stripped, e-coated, fully rebuilt, 3.7 litre engine. GT3 suspension, so it's a big, but it is a, it's a track focused road car. Excellent. So you're going to be finished by end of the show? Uh, nearly, yeah. Ish. It'll be running in a couple of weeks. Excellent. Good luck with it, buddy. Thank you. It's so tiny, isn't it? It is. It's so tiny, it's unbelievable. Compared to those cars. Very nice. Flathead, V8. It's just the variation of the cars in here is unbelievable. You know, you might not going to recognize the cars, but this is a Skoda Rapid. Yes. The two-door Skoda it's Rapid. It's quick then, is it? 1.3 uh, engine in them. That's what they turn into rally cars, and especially the old one with the round headlights. Uh -huh. uh, but many people don't know, the two-door Rapid is just increased so much in price because it was so cheap back in the day. Everybody just used them and abused them and, and chucked them away. Left. Not many left. But this is oh, I've been offered Very one nice. of I've been offered one of them. Skoda Octavia. That's early. You know, what it, year would that be? Do you know, Boris? Uh, I think around late fifties. My mum showed me a picture when she was a, a young girl. Yes. With one of these cars with the same color. Okay. Because I think cousins or somebody owned the car, which was rare in the 60s, really rare, in Hungary. I think it's a gorgeous looking car, it but is. look at how small look at it the is. Shapes, look at the work that goes into it. Oh, it's fantastic. 1961. 1961. Hang on, the man is talking to us. So Hello. what year is this? How are you, uh, buddy? 1961. 1961? Yeah, took me nine to 10 months to restore it. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Pictures down car. here. Yeah, there's pictures all the way through. Even everything will be done at the back. Lovely car, mate. All the spares you can still buy and check. Yes, so, yes, I know. Yes. They are, they are still trying to keep them on the road. Yes, that's it. Yes. Lovely, mate. Okay. You've done a lovely work. Have a nice weekend. Looks very good. You too, buddy. There's just so many rare cars in here. It's unbelievable, isn't it? But there's a the variation, mate. You know, you see these old Eastern European cars to British cars to American cars. I don't know what these are. It's just so many different cars in here. It's unbelievable. You know, it's just, let me show you what. We just drive, walk past those Skodas from there. Very nice old Volkswagen estate. Yes. I mean, they are rare. Tight. That's nice. Nice color scheme as well, isn't it? That's very nice. Really nice. And uh, Series 2 Land Rover. And somebody fixing it. You know, it's a regular thing when you're buying a Land Rover, you need to fix it? All the time. I have two and I'm forever fixing them. Is it? Yeah. Great car though. Whatever you go wrong, you can fix it with a bucket of spanners. Well, you need a bucket of spanners when you're owning <laughs> a, <laughs> a Land Rover. No basically. technology on those. Oh yeah. Cold, wet, but starts all the time. If not, you've got the spanners in a truck <laughs> and you can fix it. I mean, this is gorgeous, mate, isn't it? It's lovely.
this is just a beast. Now, that's the car I really like to it drive. It really is nice. What you guys see in the air? Somebody, somebody's welding. Well done. And this is a wooden welding. car. Wooden frame. Yes. Professionals measuring up for everything. And just to see what these boys doing. Well, not all, young boys. How are you doing, chaps? What's Hi. happening in here? Oh, I this is a 1930s Jowett 7 horsepower. It's got a long two, so it's a two-seater, a dick seat at the back. Uh, she was owned by the previous owner 53 years. Wow. It was his favourite car. And unfortunately, they, basically the body was so rotten uh, that nothing was really holding the body onto the, the frame. So we take the body off. That's been redone by a car spare specialist uh, who does woodwork. Uh, so the plan for today is to get the body back onto the chassis. We're just squaring up, fettling away just to make sure she's square. Get the two door skins done and get the original wings fitted up as well. So if we can get that far done in three days, I'll be amazed. Fair play <laughs> so to you. Fair play to you. Good luck with that, guys. Thank you. Yes, look at that. How small they are. There's a good sign in here saying 230,000 miles and it's still going strong. That's the miles, isn't it? That's a lot of miles. 400,000 kilometers if you're watching from uh, abroad. How wide is this car? Gorgeous looking car. I very, think. very nice. But we're talking to one of them, the guys in here, and I think it's really cool. This Ford Courier with the Puma front end on it. I wish Ford done this out of factory. It's a sexy little car. Oh, it's very, 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 very. And this is, again, this is a wide body compared, you know, it's, if you see that front wing on it. There's a lot of work gone into that. Yes. It's a lovely car. And some guys doing some fixing in here. Let's find out what's happening. How are you doing, chaps? All right. Uh, what, what's happening in here, buddy? Uh, just fitting some solid top mounts at the moment, mate. So, what's the plan with the car? What, what else are you going to do? With? Uh, I've been building it for four years. So, uh, four years? Yeah, yeah. Um, what, the missus kick you out and you have to come in here and fix it in here? <laughs> yeah. but I've just had a ten-month-old boy at home, so I haven't done okay. anything for ten months. So, four days I can work on it here. <laughs> Excellent. Good luck with it, buddy. Thank you very much. Right. You see, if you if you married and got young kids, you you have to come in here and fix your car in here. That's a good opportunity. I love I love the front splitter on that car. I think it looks really good. What you reckon, bud? That front front splitter and the back wing on it. It looks lovely. And the roll cage. And it looks good in white. It definitely with the white wheels. Yes. What you reckon, viewers? What you think of this car? I, I do like them and. They're slowly disappearing, isn't it? Pumas. It's nice to keep them alive. Yes. And we're coming to the other side. Ford Corsair. Very early. Yes. Extremely early. The bodywork is done on that. I think they just primed it. But this one is still in original 1969, state. that one. That should be in the barn fine section. Yes, but we come to this Granada. Very, very I mean, nice. this is, oh, it's spotless. Awesome. Ford V6. It's just amazing looking car. Look at that, guys. Somebody spent a lot of time and money on this to refurbish in it. You like, guys, you like aftermarket wheels? Because I think there's lot, lots of people now putting these aftermarket wheels on these cars. Mm. Yeah. Oh, look at that, mate. That's Supercharger. It just looks like a beast, isn't it? <laughs> I bet it handles well. <laughs> <laughs> but not. It's a little raw bar in there, but it's, it looks, looks, looks gorgeous. Looks, looks the business, doesn't it? It does look the business. I think it's one of these guys is the owner, if I'm right. That's yeah. my car, yeah. It's your car? Yes. How are you, buddy? All right. I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Uh, so, 
what we've seen here, buddy, it's uh, it looks gorgeous. It's a V6 Essex lump. So it's a 3.2 V6 Essex. What they used to use in the Capris. Yes. Uh, back in the day with a supercharger. A Holly 4 barrel. Fast road cam. Yeah, it's a bit old school. Yeah, it looks lovely, man. Thanks. Is it handles well? Sorry? Is it handles well? It does handle really well, yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's, You've got a little roll bar in there, I guess, for rigidity. That's it, yep. You don't want to bend the body on that? <laughs> no, definitely What not. back axle is you running? It's the um, English axle. Right. So it's a Mark II Escort, and we narrowed it with 3J axle tubes, axles. So yeah, it's right. all beefed up, quite stiff. Lovely um, car, mate. Thanks. Outstanding. Coil overs all round, disc brakes all round. So it stops as well? Yeah, stops and got and Quite handles. Important. <laughs> handles really good because it's got the the adjustable coilovers all around okay. four linked at the back so it's almost like a modern car really yeah as long as you get a four link you sh it's handles all right isn't yeah, it yeah really good yeah really good fair play mate you've done an excellent job with this car thank you very good you don't see them no often now is it but it's uh, nice I mean, to see now it is nice to see because mainly everybody's saving the mark two escorts mark one escorts um, so classic, different models. I'm not sure. A th maybe a three and a four. Um, it is an '80s colours. These browns. Yes. I'm not that keen on a brown, but no. but it's of the era. Yes, it is. Why is you see you see a blue light on it? Reckon is a reason for it. Is it an ex-police car? Yes, it is an ex-police ex car. Police car. Yeah. It's an unmarked ex-police car. And somebody's over tired. He's maybe sleeping He's because he's been catching criminals. So, so this is a two-liter. Uh, we decided that should be a double overhead cam. Yeah. 2 litre double overhead cam. Newer model. This is, looks like an ex-police car as well, isn't it? It's very nice. I'm loving the Hellas. Got a tow it's bar on the front. Oh yeah, you see that, guys? That's just crazy. And there is a Cozy race car. Now that's a beast, isn't it? It is. It is. Of course, with the engine in there. Yes. And a P100. <laughs> Very hard to find again now. Yes. Nice wheels. Very periodic, isn't it? Right, we got these American cars in here. Like racers. Yes, it's huge, isn't it? It is huge. Roll cage in there. Lovely car. We got we got quite a few American section cars in here. It's a cool looking thing, isn't it? But same as this it one. It blends the colours in. Oh, lovely, lovely. You reckon it's a paint job or is it uh, It's a paint job, isn't it? Yes, I think so. I don't want to touch it because people get funny about it, but... Lovely, lovely, these racers. It's very nice. If you see it, there is a big American car. And we go there. Tiny. Tiny. Tiny, 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 tiny. Sport. Chill, man. So it's a sport. Look at that. 1957. Can you fit in, in one of them, you reckon? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think I could get this in there. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think either. I may get in there, but I won't get out. Look at how tiny they are. Strange little cars. I've not seen these before. No, I neither I. I think it's. It looks so funky, isn't it, mate? It almost looked like the wrong way round. <laughs> you reckon? Well, when you look at the back of the blue one, it could almost be the front. <laughs> could be. What you reckon, dear viewers? Look at this man in there. Hello. It's a full-size man can fit in there, you see. Yeah, he's hiding away eating his biscuits in there. In there. Well. Mm -hmm. 
He can't get out now. Hello, young man. How are you? You the driver? Yeah, I'm waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> You're waiting for a driver. You can't get out in here for three days now. No, no, I'm locked in here now till Sunday, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> you, well, that's what they're feeding you, some biscuit. Yeah, that's all, is, all I get, no chips or anything. Is, why did they lock you in? <laughs> I'm not in here. <laughs> <laughs> why did they lock you in there? I've just come back for some lunch, that's all. All right, we leave you in peace, buddy. Have a good one. No problem. <laughs> Cheers. Lock him back in. <laughs> lock him yeah. He must be a beast. And uh, this is the one thing I love, these alphas. They are really, really nice. They, they build them in uh, wheeler dealers. And then, oh, okay. And then they build them um, one of these. You remember uh, he he done a separate show about them? I haven't seen it. You know what? He done a separate show from wheeler dealers and they, he's built one of these alphas in there. Okay. Alpha single seater racer. And this what is engine all, are they putting in these? Well, the mainly MX-5 again. Yeah, this this Lots is yeah. Of MX-5 donors. Yeah, this yeah exactly. I think, but that's why MX-5 is run out because they use most of them now. I mean, just to show you guys what's happening in here. Uh, this is the MX-5 engine in there. MX-5 drive train. And if you know the MX-5, it's smooth gearbox, pretty reliable engine. Absolutely. Be and, tuned. Be tuned and you can turbocharge them, mm. which is common. Around 1500 quid, you buy a complete turbo set with okay. everything. And there's a company down, I think, down somewhere in Balfour, Bristol Way, I think a couple of grand, turnkey. Drive the car in, drive the car out. So if the MX5 based, same as the MEF kit car, yes, yes. filming that as well, those guys, um, the same, same principle. So, but look at that then. I just want to show you this, how good. You know, this is the exhaust, and the exhaust is just made fake, so it looks like it's an eight pot. But it looks good coming out the side of a finished car. I, I wouldn't think, think it would have been, when you look at a finished car, you wouldn't think it was an MX-5 underneath. No, no. Definitely not. Well, but that's like most kit cars, isn't it? You don't know what's underneath no. there. And I think it's a great idea to recycle a car to something and relief, because- And, and being such a light frame and a light car, MX-5 engines, plenty. Yes. You know, these these were the days when the man been so peaceful in his life, isn't it? Children in the back. This even has a fold-up windscreen in the back. Yeah. Dicky seats. Yeah. Or you can put the missus in the back. <laughs> and close I it up. I can say that. <laughs> I could put her in there and close her in. Yeah. I, I think it's a good idea. Put the missus in the back so you can have a chill-out drive in the front and listen to the radio. And you got this protection from her. Absolutely. Man used to I'll be really her. clever back in the day. I <laughs> ask her, I think you're not going to get dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and these are not restored plastic. Very strange, the front half is restored on this. Up to the bulkhead and then mm. they're not. It's quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Why? Yeah, because it's only restored if you guys see that mark in there. The bulkhead's done, the front wings, all the front's done, and then it stops. Yeah, because when you look at the rest of them, the car. Interesting, isn't it, mate? Then you've got the completely unrestored. I mean, it's only had a bit of a paint on a bonnet. So that's a V8 and only 20 horsepower. Really? This is a really clean car. I like that setup. It's lovely. It really is a nice car. It is a really nice car and with this beige interior. You ever own one? No, no, I did look at them, but I didn't buy one. Was that you don't like? I didn't like the cream seats, but the, it, it goes lovely with this blue. Yes. Just a gorgeous looking car. Very nice. And this is look like a, a barn find because they not cleaned the dirt off from it. TR6. 
So the blue one's the TR5 and this is the TR6. What's your thoughts on the TR7s? It's a bit of a Momite car, isn't it? Either you love it or you hate it. Um, I'm not personally that No, key. but I think the wedge shapes are starting to come back in. The early TVRs, the early 350s and 400s now are really becoming collectible. Yes. Um, as I, I think these are now. It's uh, the two liter in these, and they they've done an eight uh, V8 in them. I think they are coming more and more collectible, and it's nice that everybody is different. That everybody likes different things, which is great. Mm. Individual. I do like these. Triumph Dolomite. Dolomite Sprint. Dolomite Sprint. Okay. Um, very collectible now very rare it is I only seen them in hill climbs really. this one's not a sprint this is an 850 right um, the sprint was just the sports version of it aluminium e-type yeah what you reckon this is straight six yeah 4.2 the work on it is just amazing is it And right next to it, the blue one. Oh, they shot the bonnet on it now. Amazing, sets up the engine had that. Yeah, with the throttle bodies on it, yes. individual throttle bodies. 1974 V12. This has a 6.1 litre V12 in it. Lovely colour. The colour is amazing. And has all these modern lights it's it's you know we talked Very about bold. this earlier i love it i think it's made the front end look so different and I think good it's lovely it is nice I, I do like the crystal lights don't get me wrong but i think certain things just to go out at the box different lovely if you modify it there's I no like point it. just to change the color is it i like it what you reckon dear viewers uh, i think with these aftermarket lights with this color it looks gorgeous, especially when it's finished. And uh, you know that throttle body set up on it. A shame in the it's bonnet is shut now. It's just oh, thank you. No, you are. So this is what we're talking about. A nice man in here. Open up. What can you tell us about this car? It's 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 quite a setup. <laughs> yes. It's cow number five of ten, so they're producing ten or E-type UK of these unleashed road-going cars. The engine's been increased from 5.3 litre to 6.1, plus it's got fuel injection, um, air conditioning, heated seats, heated windscreen, some bespoke interior, um, increase the size of the wheels, uh, tidied the bodywork up quite a bit, so uh, chromes uh, cleaned up and just tidied up, really taking some of those overriders out. And yeah, bespoke colour as well, so yeah, hopefully the car looks a lot more modern and cleaner than the original Series 3. What are people's genuine opinion of you doing this to, a, to an E-Type? I think people have a different opinion. I'm, I've got a Series 1, which is original. Yes. And I've restored that, I've that restored, but it's, that's restored to original. Yeah. This is, I'm only the second owner of this car. Okay. Been, it used it a lot. So it needed restoring? It needed to, yeah. Okay. Yeah, when they sandblasted it, you know, the, the, the yeah, floor yeah. area was really quite badly corroded. They'd had a lot of repair done to okay. the uh, I had arches. I had one. Uh, I had a V12 uh, series, series 3, um, 1973. And the same, when we stripped it down, there was rust holes in the bonnet. Yeah. It really was going. Um, uh, but I love what you've done. I really do love what you've done. As well. Yeah. Yeah, front front uh, overriders were pushed in on mine yeah, into the bonnet and back so, to, back yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it needed restoring, so it wasn't taking a car out of the market. No, it's a lovely, you know, thirty, forty thousand mile car. Yes, it's original, which that be sacrilege to me to do it. it was, we were saying this it earlier. Was doing a car that needed. A I agree. TLC. I agree. Um, I think it's just lovely what you've done. Um, it's just taking it to the next level, and I, I think it's brilliant. Absolutely. I think as well what I tried to do with this car is um, 
get the younger generation attracted to them and see what I we agree. can do with these types and try, not seat types classic cars in yes. general yeah if we can try and keep those younger people coming through and seeing how spectacular the cars are and yeah. what we can do to them and try and get them enthused then is this um, the original engine that you had w worked on or is this it's the engine that came with the car yeah i think it had actually the gentleman had, a, had got it changed but it done a lot of mileage okay so the uh, the engine's completely um, stripped down yeah yeah reconditioned uh, but it is the, the engine that came with the car it's, the it's, engine not, that... it's not a bespoke engine no no okay i just wonder if the xjs engine or it was the original e-type engine no original yeah e-type engine yeah. E -type. yeah very nice You've done an excellent work on it buddy Really, yeah. Right. Type UK, yeah, they're doing. It's to go back to them on Monday. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Try and get finished, yeah. So hopefully you finish it by the summer. Uh, hopefully this year, yeah. It'd be good to uh, get it on the road before the weather turns. Thank you very much for showing your car. Thank you. Series so one flat floor, so that's it's a lot smaller than the Series three, even though they look similar. Mm. This is a Daimler Dart. Nice, nice car. Nice setup with the Burgundy. Yes. Burgundy interior. Not much room for the rear passengers. This is the same color I got my uh, Mark II. Okay. But with the blue interior. Okay, nice. I'm not Mark II, that's type of. Just such a lovely looking car. Beautiful isn't paint it? work. Mm. That's a thing with this car as well. You've got nice shapes. You've got some so much design element in there, you know. Like the side yes, light. Lovely. I think that's the side light, isn't it? That's the driving light in there. And the indicator is down there, which is the same indicator on all the jacks. The paintwork is flawless. BMW Z3 with wide, the hard wide body 2.8. We're just talking about this because that's what I that's what I really like to buy at the moment. Z3. Yeah. And modify it. <clears throat> but these are upcoming classic now, I think. I think they will be. I've seen some of them, it just go ridiculous of money. And with the wide body, it looks really nice. But it's so nice to see an Austin right next to it as well. It's a gorgeous stance on it, is it? It's lovely. And from the Terra, we got the 190. 190 and E21 323i. That's a gorgeous car. Escort van, and we're down to. You don't see them often now. It, 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 this is really good, Nick. Had a lot of work, I should think. This is, and it's not white. I like vans when they're not, not white. Not white, absolutely. Mark III RS convertible. Is it? A, is In it a white. genuine? Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, but actually, RS is being suited by this color. You know. Oh, I love this car. I got two of them. I, I passed my driving test in one of them. Okay. In a Mark III. That's why. That's in you a, know. In it's Escort. Yeah. In a five-door Mark III Escort, uh, five-door in these browny metallic colours okay. they had. Yes. That so, was that was the rust. It wasn't the colour. <laughs> <laughs> but we just walked past, which is I think really interesting. I don't GTE. know how much the GTEs. How much was into it, buddy? Because. Uh, this is like the Mark II Astra in the UK with the 16 valve, red top. Which is quite rare, a digital dashboard in them. Okay. 16 valve, 150 horsepower. Yeah, which was a lot back in the day. And because the car is so light as well, it's not... Look at that, it's just gorgeous, Spotless. gorgeous condition. Look at the inside. Just absolutely mint. Really is good condition. It's absolutely mint. It's, it's not that many about now, is no. it? No, very nice. Same as with the Manta. Manta. You ever owned the Manta? No. No, I haven't. Oh, I got an upper record. 
1978. Same two liter engine, two, two liter four cylinder, 100, 100 500, 10 horsepower, yeah. A12. Which is still a rare so car. Older one? Yes. Uh, guy I know we're racing together, he got a Mark 1 Manta. Uh, we do hill climbs together. Yes. And he painted it. This burgundy metallic red. Okay. Really nice car. But over there. That's Very nice. Look at the stance on that. So these cars for over a year now, they're just coming up. In my eyes, just such a good looking car because it they is disappeared. Not, yes. In one point, one point they just gone away. You know, they, they just looked old and not very nice. But it's, now I think just getting more cars and that we more. were growing up with that we just took for granted are now becoming classics. Yeah, but the stance of this car is just unbelievable. Lovely. And it's it's not actually a race car. It's just somebody done it up. And and a standard one next door there. Yeah. The difference. What you reckon guys? I'll just try to get both of them in a the picture. I mean the standard one looks a bit dull, isn't it? It does when it's sat next to that one. And I do like the graphics. Yeah. So, yeah. What you reckon, guys? I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Some Rover behind us. Did you ever own a Rover? I've, uh, a newer one, not these old ones. Um, a newer Rover, Rover 820 I had. Yes, but, um, which is, we've seen one in here. We're going to show you soon. Yes, yes. But I haven't had an old Rover. This is the one we're on about. These are the... They have a classic V8 engine in them, isn't it? Yes, lazy V8, three and a half liter. This is this this been a really popular engine. I mean, they put them in many, many, oh, many, many cars, cars isn't from it, Land Rovers to MG v, MGB GTs. Yeah, because the MG um, V8 was the same engine with the twin carb on the top. Yes, and then they, of course they were fitted to a lot of retrofits. Lots of retrofits had these. They put these in Triumphs because um, Triumph engines were, were, weren't reliable, so they put the Rover V8s in. Um, yeah, so they were also fitted to a lot of other cars. And they raised them because you can buy so many aftermarket parts for Absolutely. it. Absolutely, yes. Big aftermarket um, companies now. I think it might be RPI, they, they specialize in them. Um, and you can get some really big brake horsepower from these now. Really? And reliable easy to repair and reliable. That's a the thing these days, you can get a lot, a lot of aftermarket bits yes. to make your old engine a lot more reliable, Absolutely. isn't it? And it's just such a good variation of cars in here. Are you 306? You know I had one, a two liter. Okay. In this dark purpley red, uh, sorry, dark purpley blue color. Yeah. Um, I think the only issue I had with it, which is I played with, I bought it from a breakers yard. Uh, they chopped it in for, you know, yeah, part yeah, exchange or yeah. something. Uh, the motor for the roof, hydraulic motor was playing up. So I have to top I it up because it was four, leaking. I think. I think it is, yeah. But you got one of these. Look at how tiny this car Old is. Oh, Morris. Yeah. Compared to the Peugeot. Tiny little car. And this is a four door with the suicide doors. Yes. Lovely. Right next to the DeLorean. DeLorean. You never was into them. You know the history. No, with yes, the, yes, yes. You know the history. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the future. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's such a nice color combination of cars in here. And somebody is really working hard. You polishing the whole car, buddy? Oh, I need a bit left. Right. This is only just the front. The front left. To polish. Yeah, just to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's the other plan you're going to do with the car? Um, basically, just this weekend, put the uh, side stripes on it, the uh, rubber strips, and the sill the other side, and badges and stuff like that. So. How oh, is it? Yeah. Are you coming here to work on your car because your missus not let you at home, or just normally you just? 
Uh, no, just something to do. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun, buddy. Cheers, thanks a lot. Yeah, seems to be that's the case, buddy, isn't it? People coming up in here, finishing off the cars. Yeah. And it is, a, it is an excuse to get away from home and we'll just work on your cars for the weekend. Yes, because there's blokes working in there, they dressed up in their work clothes and they <laughs> having a whale of the time, aren't they? Absolutely. Old MGs, you don't see these anymore. No, because they was just such a they just popular rusted. car and rusted away, isn't it? And nobody MG ever Metro. thought about saving them. No, no, nobody saved them. I mean, this is in a good condition. good condition. Look at the space you have to work on it as well now. Yes. It's unbelievable, the room in there. Yeah. It's just unbelievable. You can't get to anywhere, is it? Even the starter motor, they put it up in the front. It's easy, isn't it? And it you, you, <laughs> to, to get that out, five minutes, isn't it? Yeah, it's unbelievable. Compared to modern cars. That's because you can do it yourself on these, as if the modern cars, you've got to take it to somebody. Yes, exactly. This is just like a barn find, is it, buddy? It's quite rusty. Quite rusty, but it's quite nice that contrast between yeah. the cars because you got MG's down in here and Rover the 114 I remember years ago mate they used to bring them into breakers yard these ones and just the throw kids, them away yeah just throw them away and I bet you nowadays they are mega money because I'm looking at uh, Rover GTI's the the small ones yes and they go for like five six grand five six grand yeah it's the um, Rover 200 Turbo as well. It, it, oh, trying to find one now is the it, Tomcat. Yes, yes, yeah. Lovely Morris fan uh, pickup. Morris pickup. Outstanding, isn't it? Absolutely outstanding. The color is so vivid, isn't it? Lovely, isn't it? Right. Yeah, that's nice. With a wooden bed. This is just a nice very, combination, very lovely, but isn't, isn't it? it? Are you doing all right? Such a gorgeous car. And the van behind you is very nice. I tell you what, as an advertisement, and also if you got vans like this today, small vans, it's not that many small vans, is it? No. People would look at that all day long, wouldn't they? Yes. I mean, it's a gorgeous looking thing, is it? It's, that, that, that was the day, you know, when Britain made actually a really yes. awesome looking car. I might say they was the most reliable, but... No, no definitely look not wise, reliable. No, no. Look at this MG as well. How many of you see the, this on the road now? None. No. And that's what we talked about earlier, you know, it's, if people are not turbo. saving this more... This is the turbo, is Montego. it? Montego. I had, a, I had an ah, MG Montego, Montego, but I didn't have a turbo. Right. That's, that's really good. I'm not actually remember seeing one in a flash for a long no. time. I had a blue one I bought from the car auctions many, many years ago. Really? But um, it wasn't a turbo. Um, but can you find them now? Probably not. No. And the color combination in here, I mean... Proper colors. Proper colors. When you're walking through, you just see, if you guys see all the cars going all the way up there, every single car have a color, not black and white. And uh, the size of the cars is so different. If we go through here, and there is a small baby in there, Look at how tiny is that car compared to all the cars. It's lovely, is it? isn't that? It's just like a toy car. They probably come in in a Meccano kit and put them together. <laughs> that lady over there had a rollover. How are you? Very well. Uh, what you what you doing over there? Uh, well. 
We have been uh, red oxiding the car, and what we're going to do is we're going to prep it later. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Uh, prep it so that it can be put down and then rolled the other way for tomorrow so that the next right. team can be working on other bits. So, you want to get it running? Uh, yeah, not, not, today, not this weekend. Not this weekend. Not the engine. Uh, so it's pretty empty. Oh, the engine is not in it yet. Yeah, it's not here with us at the moment. But right. I've, just got, I've, got, so I've still got some more work to do on it yet, so no point putting the engine in and take it back out again. So Excellent. Do as much as we can. Then back to work on Tuesday or Monday. No, no, well, I've, got, I've got the next two weeks off. Though. This gent's got to finish it. <laughs> You've got two weeks to finish it? Yeah, it's just about, yeah. That's right. Excellent. Right. There should be plenty of time. Cheers, guys. Have fun. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to work underneath it with the roll get a rollover cage. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I remember when we were doing my fourth, with my mate, we just rocked it, a few of us, and tip it to the side on tires. Classic old car. Miller lights again. Yes, yes. There's, there's I, I so do, many around now. I, I do like it, but as I said, I'm not. I'm. Yeah. I, I went for I went for a Japan racing on my car. Yeah. I went for a Japan racing on my car for the reason. I don't want to be looked same no, as everybody I, else. No, absolutely, and I haven't put them on my Triumph. Um, I do. I do, I quite like them, but. On this one, no, I don't blame you, mate. No, I don't blame no. you because um, it's just you want a different look, isn't it? I've, I've, no, I've kept the original ones on my uh, on my Triumph. Um, I, li I like the original wheels. So yes. yeah, these are lovely. These uh, these are. And this is again lovely, 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 lovely combination of cars coming through here. <laughs> I mean, these are leg rows. Uh, to send a picture to my wife. You don't, I had one of these. Chocolate brown. Chocolate brown. Chocolate brown. Is it the same brand? It's the same brand as yes, that one. But but maybe polished with the square steering wheel. Because if you guys just have a look, that's for the square steering wheel. So it's not actually a joke. It is actually a square steering wheel. So yeah. That's what you had as well, buddy. Right. Yeah, it was lovely. Wheel. <laughs> Quite a variation of cars to see in here, really. I mean, everywhere, everywhere. It's a good, good show, good show, really good show. Simon is just taking some pictures of that car, bringing back his youth memory. I'm just saying, uh, it's some memory, some youth memories is bring yes. back when you see these yes. cars, isn't it, bud? These are, because these are what we grew up with. You see, that's, uh, again, we got this Mark II Mondeo. I remember I used to have an ST24, Lovely. and when I bought it, it was 500 quid. Yeah. Now, this is a uh, two-liter steel wheels. Well. Steel wheels again. It's very popular these days. I'm not sure I like it on that. But it's dropped. Yes. You see, it's dropped down. Yeah, yeah. What I you, do, what do you, you like the reckon? Granada? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Granada is really... It's just such a big car. It is a big car. You know, even modern standards yes, is a big car. It is a big car. I do like it, very nice. MGA. MGA yes. going up in price, ridiculous now. Yeah. But the the newer shape MGs is they, they still these ones. Yes, they still the MGF and the yeah. TF, they still not going up in money yet. Yeah. I don't know if they ever will. Uh, because you can't really tell what sorts of cars go up in money. I mean, oh, Jags, tag? yeah, Jags is not normally goes up in money either, which is, I don't quite certain understand. Certain models, certain models maybe, the collector's models. Yeah, I think the collector's models will be going up in price a little bit more, but there's still quite a but lot of not, old Jags around at the moment. Yeah, but compared to like BMWs, BMWs, any model goes up, you know, any anything yes. from pre-90s, actually now, because yeah. the rarity of the E46, because they use them for racing and drifting, and the E46 now, they slightly start in climbing. Yeah. Especially the yeah. good ones. Yeah, I think it's, it's supply and demand again. Um, yes. The, 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 the less of them, the more, they, more value they're going to be, harder to find. People hang on to things now. Yes, I like think rovers, so. you don't see these old rovers anymore, especially a two-door one. That's what we was on about. Good nick as well. 
in really good nick isn't yeah. it yeah is that twin split sunroofs on there looks like it it is mm. and i remember them yes with the, with the orange yes mouthpiece very rare these cars are because years ago the first time i seen them i thought they just somebody done it for a joke okay i'm talking about 20 years ago yeah but it's amazing restoration they're doing on it yes this is this is just an amazing looking car itself jaguar xk 140. i mean look at the engine work in this it's just unbelievable isn't it mate beautiful the color i'm not i've never been keen on white cars as much but yeah. it's just suiting this car so well isn't it classic color it's yes it's just so pretty and the engine work i mean just straight so six. pretty straight six well it's a typical jag engine isn't yeah. it the straight the most popular engine you wouldn't mistake it would you no no if you look at an engine you're just looking at yeah. this top cover you know it's you, a jag you know yeah Austin A30. That looks like a beast, isn't it, bud? Yeah. It's just... It's got a Ford V8 in it. Set a long way back. It is indeed. really an eye-catching car isn't it it is isn't it people mourning about you putting a wide body kit on a modern car <laughs> and uh you know when you look at this one yeah what's that the seat looks comfy six about 12 inches yeah it's huge isn't it? <laughs> so anybody's mourning about people modifying cars these days just have a look at this one absolutely outstanding and when we walk past talking about outstanding and good color yeah the camera doesn't actually show you the true color of this car but again this is just a work of art isn't it absolutely how polished it is it's a work in progress yes the color is really nice when we come back in october and november to the classic car show it may be finished yeah look at the inside as well and the floor pans it's just so Beautiful. nice Unbelievable. attention to details really good yes but you can't over restore them is it because because once you over restore them that's a problem that's what people don't understand yes you, you shouldn't you shouldn't because it never came out the factory it's like land rover no. And if you over restore anything you are scared to use it some people do like uh, restored cars and keep polishing polishing i like to use my classic cars that's They're the whole there to point be used that's the whole point so thank you so much for watching we finished with the second part as well i uh, hope you enjoyed today's episode and if you did drop us a like a comment and please subscribe to the channel we we'll see you soon Good. bye